call the SU, tell them we may want some searchlights outside. Right. Oh, war zone. You put that tie on at 3 in the morning, or just sleep that way? The bartender. Four shots for the body. How many for the bourbon? Hey, do me a favor. If you don't need to be in here, don't be in here. She's dead. Call one to the head, maybe a wild shot. The others look like ricochet or flying glass. That's two. I got the guy and the girl in ski masks coming in five minutes before closing and wanting the register. The guy did all the shooting. Hey, Solomon, just do visuals on the slugs. Don't wait for ballistics. Lenny! Right! This is Mr. Barnes. These are the guys who want me to talk to? Yeah. You? Helen. Helen Shane. She was the night manager. She was going to the ladies' room, and then she was going to go home right before they came in. Mr. Barnes, so what? Well, this is her bag. I found it by the back door. The, the, the strap is torn. She's not here. What's she look like? Um, dark hair, early 30s. Thank you, Tony. Right, come on. But add that to the alarm. Possible hostage. Now, wake somebody up at BCI. Tell them we want a list of every boy girl team that ever fired a BB gun. Then what? Uh, then we'll talk to the witnesses some more, see if they can tell us how many colors the masks were. This is Curtis. When? Give me an address. All right. Korean Delhi, 12 blocks from here. Man and woman in ski masks. We just killed the owner. I hit the dirt. I remembered basic training real fast. Just the two of them, huh? Yeah, it was a big man, skinny woman. She stood over by the door, told me not to move. Uh, white folks. Is there another woman with them? Uh, she might have been in the car because the uh, the girl was looking that way. What kind of car? It, it was gray. Old, new, local plates, uh, what? It wasn't new, it was uh, American, maybe Chrysler. Guy took one in the chest and a bonus to the head. Did you see how it happened? I just saw the guy pick up his six pack and walk toward the counter. Okay, thanks. I guess you didn't have time to order a drink at the club. Well, I'll add the car to the alarm. Hey, maybe we could add something else. Three bodies in 30 minutes. We better get something before they get thirsty again. Well, lab's already doing the blood types from the Vivon room, the nightclub, and they're dusting everything at the deli for prints. Horowitz just called from Helen Shane's apartment. There's nobody there. He's gonna wait out front. Her keys and her wallet weren't in her bag. The perps might decide to walk her home. Get a scratch on that to the borough. ECI has a white MF crew in Jersey currently serving time. Another co-ed pair in Brooklyn, but black. Look how she holds her gun. The recoil would knock her arm into her face. So he's a pro, but she isn't. Hey, you want tall male arm robbers, Lenny? I get you a list this thick. <laughs> Excuse me. Detective Curtis? Yeah. Just got your message. Sal Franks, I own the Vivon. Have you found Helen? No one's seen her, sir. You bring a photo? <sighs> this is the uh, club softball team. Helen's in the top row. Blow this up. Get it on a wire. Sal, can you think of any reason why they'd single Helen out? Was she carrying cash? No. Helen closes out the restaurant till and takes the cash to Willie. It's the bartender. So the robbers hit exactly the right part of the club at exactly the right time, and the woman who handles the cash disappears? It's around the corner, block and a half up. Nobody's in it. We got cars at the surrounding eight intersections. But you're keeping the immediate area clear, right? Well, we've got to go in, see what's in it. Hey, we have an advantage here. They don't know we found the car. So what? Look, the other car led us to a physical description and a possible place they frequent. Ray, they could be having a cup of coffee up the street. They might come strolling back to the Dodge right into our arms. Yeah, they could be in another stolen car 50 miles away from here. Look, we got a hostage with two stone killers. We wait 20 minutes, and then we send in a quick search team. Go. Same brand of beer they took from the deli and more candy. We'll take the bottles for prints. Lieutenant. Helen Shane. Forensics called. They found a partial print in the Dodge that matched the partial thumb in the Pontiac, put them together and made a good single. The computer spit out a con named Leon Trapp. Two piece? Yeah. ID section faxed over a photo lineup. Miss McDermott, do you recognize any of these men? That's him. That's him. Convicted of robbery in the first degree, paroled last year. You got his parole officer's name? Yeah, but Leon missed his last 14 appointments and left a bogus address. Mother dead, father's address unknown. Known associates, Bobby Johnson, AKA Radhead, lives in Paramus. Gerald Ridge, currently residing in Attica. Michael Mervis, 26 West 14th Street. It's a half a block from Union Square. In the organic market. Look 
around. Did you see anybody? How do you feel about organic apples, Mikey? How would I know? Don't they need a warrant for this? Hey, we got nothing to hide, Joanne. I haven't seen Leon for over a year. We find out otherwise, we got four bodies under Leon. There's plenty of weight to take you down, too. Hey, that's for the baby. Who's Leon's girlfriend, Mike? My dating service? You ever see him with a woman? He used to hang around with Sally Napoli. Brown hair, thin? Brown hair. You called us for these two? Well, you said a male-female team. Well, we're walking out of here with six disposable cameras in their pockets. The bulletin said post-puberty. I called you as soon as he called me. I didn't see them. Well, are you going to take them in or what? Or what? Lynn. What? Does this look familiar? Yeah, for Mervis's girlfriend's baby. His name is Brown. You remember that receipt? 995. Leon and his girlfriend bought one of these. And you know what? I think they bought this one. I told you we haven't seen them. Yeah, I know that's what you told me. That's why you're under arrest for hindering prosecution. Unless you want to tell me right now, where are they? Mike. Shut up! Get him out of here. Then take me too. Hold it. You know what I don't find in this apartment? Her clothes. Do you live here? You don't live here, do you? Where do you live? Hey! Next block. All right, keep them both inside. Keep them away from the windows and away from the phone. Got a couple of ski masks here. Lots of ammunition. The cigarette's still lit. They walked out in the middle of dinner. Looks like 12 empties. They ran out of beer. All right, they're loose, possibly local. Get all uniforms and units around the corner out of sight. There's a place on the next block to get a six pack. Ray? We'll go in. You guys back us up. Benny. There. Leon, we need coffee. Police, freeze! Ladies, there's 50 cops outside, Leon. Don't do anything foolish. Let her walk away, Leon. Ma'am, you're gonna be all right. One move, Lydia, and I shoot you in the head. Leon, Leon, why don't you just... <laughs> freeze! Get on the floor! Thank down! You. Get down! Please call my parents. When you get down. I don't know where I am. Please call my parents. Thank God. Thank you. Her parents are here. They drove down from Connecticut. Do we have any proof of her story? Her name is Leslie Harlan. She was kidnapped six months ago in New Salem. Are you McCoy? Are you in charge here? Up to a point. When can we take our daughter home? Mr. Harlan, she was just arrested. You mean rescued and we're very grateful. We just need to understand what happened. she's been through? Lieutenant Van Buren was telling me. If you have any questions, call Agent Gill, the Hartford FBI office. She was kidnapped. By Leon Tramp? Yes, it was cousin Eddie. We paid a ransom. Uh, Agent Gill can tell you. But you were still with Leon? Yeah, Eddie picked up the money. He used it to pay off a gambling debt. <laughs> Leon was so mad, he killed him right in front of me. <laughs> he raped me. He made me stay with him. <laughs> Is he dead? Yes. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Can we take her home now? Not today. She's being arraigned on four counts of murder. <laughs> 